what are you doing? But this was an honest to God lifesaver. This is something that I said I would not give for my baby. You want to say hi? Like it just like literally like it, it's life changing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexa and I currently have a little two month old daughter named Olivia. You will be very soon seeing her two month update. It should be within this next week or so. I'm just waiting to film it until we actually have the doctor's appointment for her two month update so I can have like accurate information and stuff. I thought we would talk a little bit about some of our favorites during that zero to two month stage and kind of what really worked for us once again though all babies are not the same like your baby could hate something that my baby loves and vice versa like literally no baby is the same these are the things that my baby loved and kind of what worked really well for us and i just want to share so i figured we'd kind of go from least expensive to most expensive and kind of go in order like that so starting with least expensive so i brought an example one these are the pacifiers we used and these were the only ones that she would really take we tried um some of like the phillips brand ones we tried the woven up we tried a couple of others and she just doesn't like it or doesn't like it yet she will only really take these ones and she barely takes these ones because she really does not like the pacifier that much um she definitely like makes a face when you give her the pacifier like what are you doing? But these are the only ones that she kind of will take, especially at nighttime. These help her sleep very well. And majority of them don't cause like nipple confusion or anything like that. But these are the ones that worked for us and we really, really like them. They are, I believe like $5 for a pack of two or something like that. So they're not expensive and they work really well for us. So definitely recommend. All right. So the second thing that we recommend are these bottles we got um the phillips avent bottles to be honest i have seen online when i chose these bottles for our baby i had seen that some people had issues with leaking like kind of up here where it connects to the um like bottle you can switch out the nipple and we never had that problem we haven't had that problem with any of them we got the starter kit and we also got like separate bottles and we haven't had that problem at all but these are the bottles that we use we love them they are great we have a variety of sizes we have like the little ones we have these size ones and we also have a variety of nipples so far we are still using the um first stage nipple it's the number one nipple and we haven't really switched from that at all yet because um that one was a little bit fast for her when she started bottles and now it seems like she's finally at a place where she can take this first nipple and not really choke or anything <laughs> or cough or gag or anything like that i know each of the nipples is for different stages and as they get bigger it has a faster flow but for now we are sticking with the newborn nipples because they work best for her right now but these bottles are great we like the shape of them we like how they work they work really well they're easy to clean so yes we definitely recommend it so if you just wanted to buy like an individual one it's like i believe seven dollars for one or i believe the whole um starter kit which comes with like a bunch of different things might be around 40 dollars or something like that so yes so number three is something that's really simple and does not have to be expensive at all but something for the newborn stage that we have loved is our changing pad we have like a traditional like kind of changing table area kind of set up but we haven't really used it that much yet just because of basically we're not really in the nursery a ton she sleeps in our room we're in our room or we're in our living room we only really come in here to grab her clothes to change her or to rock her or to do tummy time we do in here but overall when we change her diaper we always just use this changing pad and it's super easy because it's mobile um it's just a normal changing pad this one actually came with our diaper bag so just a normal changing pad and like in the middle of the night we definitely had a couple of times in the beginning where she peed or pooped when the diaper was not under her um, it's so nice that it's not not like all over our sheets in the middle of the night it's literally just on here you wipe it clean it's super easy 
So um, this is just a generic one that came with our dick bag, but I'm sure you can find inexpensive ones on Amazon or whatever. It doesn't need to be anything special, but yeah, and we love our changing pad. <laughs> While she was in that beginning newborn stage, we actually tried out several different types of disposable diapers. Some of the later ones that we tried were our absolute favorites, and those were the Huggies Little Swaddlers. It comes in a red box, and they fit her perfectly. We had not a single leak, and they were definitely our favorites by far because just the way they fit her was so much better than the rest of the diapers that we tried. But now, we actually switched over to cloth diapers. Even if you're doing cloth diapers, I almost kind of recommend to start off with disposable diapers in the beginning, just because in the middle of the night, you don't wanna be messing with cloth diapers. Now she only wakes up like once a night, but especially in the beginning, when she was waking up like every two to three hours-ish, it was really hard to just even get up and change her diaper, let alone thinking about how much laundry I would have had to do and all of that like I'm really grateful that we decided to start with the disposable diapers we had and then once we ran out we switched if we have another baby again that's kind of the brand I think we'll go towards because um, just for the newborn stage of course but yeah so the fifth thing I want to talk about is a pumping bra and I have a favorite but just a pumping bra in general I didn't start breast pumping at all until I was five no six weeks I was six weeks like postpartum when I started pumping and when I started at six weeks I found it was really hard to actually like if I wanted to do both at once it was hard to hold both at once and then if I needed to switch the settings it was like I had to like kind of awkwardly hold them and try to not spill anything and it was really hard but I found that I got this mom cozy nursing bra and I actually did a video with them that was sponsored um, because I honestly just really like the nursing bra it's awesome and it was so much easier a hands-free option and even if I like wanted to nurse her while pumping it made it super super easy so I definitely recommend it and if you are interested in getting it at all I do have a video with it and there's a code in the description box if you want to use it but definitely it was super super easy for me not sponsored just like it made my life 10 times easier especially when I had Libby with me and Sean couldn't watch her while I was pumping it was way easier and the pumping bra I believe it retails around like $25 ish but with my code it takes 15% off of that so definitely check it out so ignore the fact this, that this is wet but this was an honest to god lifesaver especially at first when my milk was just coming in and all that stuff um this is the Hakka and I think I have the Hakka 2.0 actually um, it comes with like a little stopper and everything, but it's a little wet because I just washed it out. But this thing is awesome because it catches all the milk on the other side when you're nursing. Um, sometimes you'll have a letdown on the other side and it's like, what do you, do you just let it go into a disposable pad? I mean, I don't even know. I got this when I was like three days postpartum because I needed it honestly and I was getting milk everywhere. And it helped me save so much milk before I could start pumping. Like I had already had bags and bags of milk saved up just because of this little guy. Which meant when we introduced the bottle at like three and a half weeks, we actually had milk to introduce her with to it. Does that make sense? Um, I'm pretty sure I've heard just about everyone talk about this in their newborn must-haves sort of videos. So I definitely recommend it. I thought it was overrated and I was like, I don't need it, but then I definitely needed it. So I highly, highly recommend it. I believe it's like $26.99, which is not that bad. You can get it at Target, you can get it at a lot of stores. So definitely check it out. So the next thing, this is something that I said I would not get for my baby because it freaks me out a little bit. Um, now it doesn't freak me out anymore but this is the love to dream swaddle but this was a dream come true literally the second that we started using this she started sleeping almost like pretty much through the night only waking up maybe once or twice a night instead of every two to three hours put them in it their arms get to stay up and then you zip them in up to their neck so their arms are kind of trapped above them which is why it freaked me out it made me feel like it was like a um what's that called like a straight jacket sort of or like a it just it seems like something you put a prisoner in i don't know it just freaked me out but she absolutely loved it because her arms she likes sleeping with her arms above her head she always hated the swaddles that 
suctioned her arms to her because she just didn't like having that at all. She was always more of a arms above a head sleeper. And even now without this, she still does this. This is from eight pounds to 13 pounds. And the second we started putting her in it, she started sleeping through the night. It was amazing. Um, it also like provides a little bit of um, pressure on them because it is like a stretchy material. So when you put them in it, it's like it stretches around them and kind of keeps them nice and cozy. But yes, it was a dream. And I hope our next baby likes this too because we're gonna, we're gonna need it. Okay, I hear Livy crying. So I'm gonna go grab her so I can feed her. Hold on. You want to say hi? Livy, you want to say hi? Hold on. So she is absolutely starving. It may not look like it, but she is absolutely ravenous. So we are going to feed her quick. So ignore her little sounds. She kind of always makes sounds when she's nursing. Um, it's actually not a poor latch, which is what we kind of thought originally. I don't really know why she makes them, but she... She's always gaining weight and seems to be fine. So if you hear little noises, I'm sorry. So about the love to dream swaddle, finishing up with that. Um, seriously, it literally saved our sleeping lives. And now that she's a little bit too big for it, it's kind of like the worst thing ever because we definitely miss it. I believe it retails for about $29.95 and it definitely worked for us. I definitely recommend it. Um, they do have bigger sizes other than this one in smaller sizes for our next baby we'll definitely get the smaller size as well um the smaller size is for newborns for smaller babies and then we have stage one and there's also a stage two which is 13 pounds and up but um we just decided to cut it off now because she's almost 13 pounds switched to a sleep sack for now and she has been struggling a little bit with falling asleep since not having her in that um love to dream swaddle so it is what it is maybe next update we will have something else that she loves to sleep in but for now this is kind of what it is okay so the next thing is something that i didn't bring in here with me and i don't really want to get up because i'm feeding her now but that is the nalakai ring sling so i'll insert some pictures or video but this thing is awesome she falls asleep almost every time i use it and it's like very comforting to her and it's a nice thing to be able to wear your baby and I think it promotes bonding and a lot of other things. She really, really likes it. So we do use it quite often. Um, I believe I got it in the color sand or something of that sort. It's like a tannish color with a um, rose gold colored ring. So it's very pretty, especially when you're home alone. Um, and even as your baby gets bigger and heavier, your arms get tired from holding them all the time, especially if you're like me. When she's crying, I feel like I just can't let her cry. I have to pick her up. So sometimes it's a lot easier just to wear her around, even when she's upset, because it just calms her down so much just to be like kind of tightly in my arms, but not really. And it makes her feel nice and safe. Definitely recommend it. I got mine as a gift and I really, really like it. We did try a couple of other baby carrying options and this one has been my favorite personally, um, just because I feel like it is very secure and I like like the shape of it more. It retails for $59.90. So I got mine from Amazon, I believe, um, and it'll definitely be linked down below. So these are the next things that I have to show you. These little guys are called Silverette Cups. I was recommended this by a friend quite a while ago, um, right before I gave birth actually. She reached out to me and let me know about these and I did my research and I was like, why not? I'll give it a try. Um, being the naive first time mother I was, I was like, I feel like this might be a waste of money because I'm sure like nipple pain must not be that bad because like, I mean, you go through the pain of birth, nipple pain is not gonna be that bad. But let me tell you, those first couple weeks were pretty bad. It was very painful. I was struggling and it was not fun. And then right when I came home from the hospital, I kept doing what they had recommended to me, which is what use lanolin nipple cream and then basically like, uh, nursing pads or whatever to catch any excess milk. And that was how I was supposed to kind of keep my nipples not as sore. It was very uncomfortable and like any 
thing that touched my nipples was like severe pain, especially a nursing baby like this one. Um, it was not comfortable and not fun at all. And then I kind of remembered that I'd ordered these and I was like, oh, maybe I should try them out. So I stopped the nipple cream and um, switched to these guys. And basically I just slipped them into my into my bra over your nipple. And then I also put a disposable pad in there just to catch any excess milk that might happen. Within a week of using these, I had like almost no pain while nursing. And then um, like it just like literally like it, it's life changing. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without them. And even after, I think it was after two weeks of using them, I was like, oh, maybe it's not because of these guys. Maybe it's just like they healed around that time. So I actually stopped using these for a couple of days. And when I stopped using them, I actually could feel the difference and I was in pain again. Now I really don't use them anymore. I think I stopped using them around the like maybe one month mark and I haven't had an issue since and I haven't had any pain since so I really credit these guys. If you are a breastfeeding mom, you know the pain of breastfeeding at first so um, if you want to save yourself, buy some of these. They are $60 for these two which seems like a lot because they don't seem like much but I would pay it like three times over because the pain of breastfeeding at first and like now I don't have like any pain at all. Um, I really do credit the Silverette cups and I highly recommend them. Definitely check them out if you are going to be breastfeeding or if you are breastfeeding and in pain, check them out. The next thing I want to talk about is our sound machine. Honestly, any sound machine works. If you get a sound machine, I highly recommend it. But I absolutely love our sound machine and when I put it on my baby registry, I was a little bit skeptical. I didn't know if I would love it. However, it is literally life changing. The sound machine we have is called the Hatch Sound Machine. It's Bluetooth and it connects to our phones um, and it has a bunch of different sounds. It has um, lights and they're kind of colored so you can change how bright, how dim, and the color of the lights. And so normally we have it like at 10% at night with a pink light and that means that like basically it's not disrupting our sleep but we can easily see her in the middle of the night if we need to and we can easily turn it up all the way so that we can see when we're changing our diaper and feeding her. The sound we use is the laundry machine sound because that is her favorite and it soothes her to sleep. So we definitely recommend just getting a sound machine of some sort. We love ours, but um, if you want a cheaper option, ours is about $60, I believe, which is kind of expensive for a sound machine, but honestly, we do love it. So this is the last thing I have to share with you, and it is crazy expensive. Thank goodness we had somebody who gifted it to us, and that is the Halo Bassinest. Um, it's very expensive. I believe it's almost $350 for the one that we have, but honestly, worth it. I am not a person that, I don't judge people for doing co-sleeping. I think if that's what's right for you and your family, that's great. However, my anxiety levels would never allow me to co-sleep. I literally cannot even think about it because I am an anxious person and I know myself and I am a heavy sleeper and I would probably roll right on top of her and hurt her. So um, having a bassinet that's really nice is awesome. It's cool because it can, the sides can come down, it's super easy to grab her and in the middle of the night, it's easier to push it back and forth. And especially when she was in the beginning of her newborn stage and just had been born, the vibration feature on it was really great for her. And then also it had a little um, sound thing that sounded like a heartbeat and that really, really soothed her. So we definitely recommend the Halo Bassinest for any stage, but especially the newborn stage. Um, because she really really loved it so yeah so that's pretty much it for today's video we are going to be doing these little favorites videos probably every two months probably so the next one will be like two months old to four months old and kind of let you know what she likes during that stage because um, obviously all the stages are very very different um, but yeah those are our favorites for the newborns so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did down below. Definitely go check out some of my other videos and hit that subscribe button because I am very close to 500 as of right now, um, which is very exciting. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you next time. Bye. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car.